The first thing that we want to do is grab a similar color towards what you're using and just use one strand at a time. When you pull on this stuff, do not pull out any loops. And what you're going to do is that you're going to create a slip knot with the one side with a little bit of a tail. And when you put the slip knot on, you're going to go onto this strand here. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to pull it tight to the strand. So it's going to be this strand here that's going to hold this from falling out. Take the other side and put it through a tapestry needle. Now we want to secure this in. This is the back side of your project, so it's the side to favor. And so you will notice that this yarn has what is what is called as a core. So if you go into the really center, see how it's kind of split a bit? That's the core. And when we go to secure this in, we want to secure it into the core of the strands. And you'll be able to, if you go in and pull up and it pulls right out, that means that you're not in the core. Okay. And you are just going to pull through this. Just use your fingers to be able to keep this from going rogue on you. And when you pull through like this, you're going to be pulling through that loose end through. Okay, so I just pulled it through. So if it's too easy to fall out, then it will become your personal nightmare. So we just pulled it through. So now we're going to go through somewhere else here. So maybe put your fingers in behind, feel for the cores. So don't allow your needle to go to the good side. Stay on the back and then pull through again. And you're essentially pulling that through. And then do it one more time. So somewhere slightly different, again, staying on the back. Again, making sure I'm not pulling out any loops here. Okay. So now what I want to do is that I want to secure this with a tie to the back side. So just going into there and just cause it to tie into a little bit of a knot. again. And luckily for you, you only have four balls to work with, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, right where this is holding onto the yarn, just go a little bit beyond it. So the knot, I can feel it. It's right where my thumb is. So I'm going to go a little higher of it and trim that. This is the loose end from that strand, so I'm not going to worry about that yet. And what I'm going to do then, finally, because we do have a knot in the back side, we're just going to pull through and kind of secure everything into position. So we're going to do that with all of the loose ends that you have. Okay, and if you don't like the tail end, just go right up over it and hold it into position. You just got to practice with it a little bit. And then once you're satisfied with it, which is pretty flat to the project now. I'm going to tie this into a knot again, making sure that you are going into the yarn itself. And one 
last knot. So if you try to use a crochet hook or whatever to weave in your ends, you're gonna have a nightmare on your hands because it will come out on you. So this is holding it in and it also is preventing the yarn from fraying to be able to come out on you. So that's done, but then you still have the, the tail ends of that same one. So push that, if it's on the front side, just push it to the back here. Put that onto the tapestry needle and all you're gonna do with this yarn is just hide it in. You think about just the securing these tails, you probably could have did another five rows. <laughs> um, but this is a great way to do it. And as I mentioned, you only have four balls. So you want to go back and forth three times in your project and then safely cut that down. And because it's the same color, you don't even see it. So you would want to do that with the other tail that you'll have just the same way. And then you keep on your, doing your rows as you know it. 